Hello, my name is George, and this is my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're continuing my quest to have good quality CRT gaming at my desk. In the last video, we added S-Video input to this CRT. You can watch that right here. But now I have a new problem. How do I hook up all my consoles? Do I just cover this desk in consoles and switches? No, that's what entertainment centers are for. Plus, what about consoles that never supported S-Video output? like the Genesis, or consoles that don't have any external video support, like the Game Boy. So that's where this comes in. This is a mister. Now I mentioned it in my last video, but I didn't really explain what it was. And I don't want to spend too long on it, but the short version is, it's a hardware emulator. It can support simultaneous analog and digital output for almost every home console up to the Sega Saturn and the PS1. And luckily for me, Recent developments from the Mr. Community have enabled S-Video output, which wasn't originally supported. To do this, we're going to need to do two things. First, we need to download the special S-Video cores and load them to our Mr. And next, we need to plug our Mr. into our CRT. The first part is straightforward enough, but the second part is going to require more work on my part, because the video output from the Mr. comes from a DE15 port which is commonly used for VGA on PCs. So the simplest workaround for me is to build an RCA to Minidin adapter, which is what S-Video normally uses, and what we installed on our CRT, and plug that into the DE15 to component cable I already have for my mister. Now that's gonna be the more difficult part, so we're gonna start there. So, to make this adapter, we need two RCA connectors with some wire attached, I have this audio patch cable laying around. The colors of the connector are not important if we plug them in correctly. A male 4-pin mini DIN connector to go to our TV, and a couple female to female RCA adapters to connect our adapter to the component cables coming from the mister. For tools, we just need a soldering iron, solder, flux, and some flush cutters. We're also going to need two 75 ohm resistors, but more on that later. All right. Now the adapter doesn't need to be very long because we're using it with another cable that is already more than enough given that the mystery is going to be sitting right next to the CRT. So I'm just going to cut off these right here at this little block. Then I'm just going to strip the insulation off, but we don't want to strip both, because there's actually two wires in here. So we've got our ground, or shield, and then we've got our actual signal wire, which is that tiny little thing right there. Let's see if we can... A little black spot, that's the signal wire. So, now we gotta strip that. Now, I'm not gonna strip it all the way down here because we wanna keep the ground and the signal wire separate when we solder it to our S-Video connector. So I'm gonna just strip this little section right here. And then, we just do the same here. Now we open up this mini DIN connector. Just pull that off. and we're gonna solder the white RCA to the Luma circuit on pin three, and it's ground on pin one. And we'll solder the red RCA to the chroma circuit on pin four, and it's ground on pin two. 
Before we solder the wires to the connector, we want to put them through the connector boot because we won't be able to put it on after. Now we're just going to snap this connector back together. I don't know what happened with the camera angle. I'm sorry. I was way off. I know I said this was the hard part, but that's only because the next part is just dragging and dropping some files onto the mister. So let's head over and do that. We're on Mike Simone's S-Video core page. I linked it down in the description below. And for today, I'm just grabbing some of the console cores. I downloaded them to my PC, and now we're gonna go to my FTP and connect to the mister. In the mister, we wanna open the root of the mister. And I've noticed sometimes my FTP We'll open this root folder, and that is not where we want to be. So just come up here, click on this to see all the folders that are there on the root of the mister. Then we go to the media, then fat, and here I'm going to make a new folder to put the YC cores in. For it to show up on the mister main menu, you need to put an underscore before the name. Then we just open that, select our cores, drop them into our new folder, and now we're ready to go back to our mister. Okay, so we're gonna plug the red on the component and the red on our adapter together. And then we're gonna connect the green on our component with the white on our adapter. Then we're gonna plug the DE15 port in on our mister. Plug our audio in. Then we plug our adapter into the TV and our audio lines from the mister. We've got our mister hooked up to our CRT. I also have it hooked up to this monitor because we haven't set anything up and I'm not sure how it's gonna display if it's gonna show up on the CRT or not because I haven't done this before. So let's see. So we've got our static background from the mister. What's that? So as you can see, it's kind of jumping around I don't really know why it's doing that. Now the only requirements when you're setting it up according online is to have your sync on green switch set to on, which is to the side with the HDMI port. And you don't want the VGA to be set to scalar. You want it to be outputting analog on the VGA port. So that's what happens when I turn off the sync on green. It gets a little bit worse. So let's see if it's because of the setting in the course. Consoles. Let's do Genesis. It's better. You can see right here it says RGB YPBR video signal. We want to change that to YC for S video. But it's still see if you guys can see that. Yeah. 
it's like pinching. It's kind of deflecting it. And I've got it set for S video. Huh. Well, I guess we've got to figure out what's wrong. Hey, so I've been troubleshooting this sync issue with the Mister for about two weeks now. And with the help of people on CRT Gaming subreddit and the Mister subreddit, I learned that you actually need to use a terminating resistor when you're injecting S-Video onto the circuits. This is something that I'm gonna repost my original video where I modded the CRT. So if you're watching this, feel free to skip that. It's the same video. I'm just gonna put a little snippet in explaining this thing about the injection circuit and needing resistors going to ground. Um, but we've got it working perfectly now. So now we've got good video quality, no sync issues. I'm gonna button this back up together. I have to resolder my S video port back in because I was using RCA connectors to test it. And then we'll show it to you guys. We've got our CRT back together, running Shinobi 3 on Genesis on our Genesis core. But we're still getting it black and white because we still do have to switch this video signal option to YC for S video. And now we've got full color. And after you do that, you come over to save settings and now you won't have to do that every single time it boots up but there you have it so what do you think was all this effort worth it for a slightly less than perfect video quality from s video do you have a mister and want to get into crt gaming but don't want to drop the big bucks on a pvm or a consumer set with component inputs let me know down in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike and if you want to see more videos, hit my subscribe button. But for now, I think it's time to enjoy some games.